Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have my Booktubeathon TBR. Now I don't really need to explain to you what the Booktubeathon is because you probably know a lot more about it than I do. But essentially it is a one week long readathon hosted predominantly by Ariel Bissett and she does normally have co-hosts. This is the first time I've taken part in Booktubeathon. When I started my channel, Booktubeathon was just starting. I was a little overwhelmed by the thought of participating. Now I'm not sure if Booktubeathon will be the readathon for me but I am going to take part anyway because it looks like a lot of fun. This year it runs from the, I think the 30th of July through to the 5th of August so it does intersect with the neutral readathon a little bit which I am also taking part in. As for the video challenges for Booktubeathon I don't know if I'm going to take part in them until they are announced. I may take part in just a few, I may not take part in them at all but I am going to try and daily vlog if I don't do the video challenges. So you should still be seeing from me at least one video per day whether that be my regularly scheduled content, a Booktubeathon challenge or a daily vlog. I will link all of the information you need down below, although I am sure if you are planning on taking part in Booktubeathon you already know about it, that information will be there for you regardless. And let's just get into what I'm reading for the reading challenges. So the first challenge is to pick your first book based on a coin toss. And so my options for this challenge are either An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, which is a standalone book about Faye, or the third book in the Confessions of Georgie Nicholson series, Knocked Out by My Nunga Nungas. This one is the book in the series that I should be reading for August anyway, so it would be nice if I could fit it into Booktubeathon. And this is one that I've had for a while that I do really want to get to, so we're just going to see what happens. So, let's say that Knocked Out by My Nunga Nungas is heads and An Enchantment of Ravens is tails. I have my 50 pence piece. This is actually an Isaac Newton special one, so there's the tail side. And let's just go. And as you can see, that is heads. And that means that I'll be reading Knocked Out by My Nunga Nungas by Louise Renison. The second challenge is to read a book about something that you want to do. I struggled with this because while I want to slay dragons, that is not a realistic possibility and I read a lot of fantasy. So I've been reading the Slam series by Colleen Hoover and I've read the first two books and I'm going to be reading the third book called That Girl or This Girl for this challenge. I have the ebook on script and so that is what I will be, will be reading and that is because while I have been reading these books I have become really into slam poetry. I've been going through a bit of a difficult time and I feel like slam poetry may be a way to get that out of me. So I have been contemplating writing slam poetry, not gonna lie probably won't happen but it was a thought that I had and so this book fits this challenge. I can't really tell you much about it as the th it is the third book in a series but the Slam series is about a forbidden romance between a girl and her teacher. Obviously you know it's going to be problematic because it's written by Colleen Hoover but I just find her books so addictive so I have no doubt that I'll be able to fly through this one. Challenge number three is to read a book to movie adaptation and also watch the adaptation. For this I have a book that I've been wanting to read for a long time but I can't I couldn't really justify starting a new series however this fits the challenge perfectly and that is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This is the first book in the Southern Reach trilogy and I'm not too sure what this is about but I do really want to watch the Netflix adaptation as well so this would be the perfect time. I think it's like a sci-fi dystopian about this area called Area X. A team of researchers are sent into it maybe to find out what happened to another team of researchers and all sorts of crazy weird sinister things happen there. The next challenge is to read a book with green on the cover and I struggled with this one. I have The Duff, I have Fangirl and then everything else is a book in a series, like in the middle of a series. So I was like wrecking my brains trying to find a green book and then I remembered that The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo has a green cover. Now I have reserved this from my library and it has not come in yet and at the time I'm filming this there is around a week to go until Booktubeathon so I'm hoping that I will have it in time. As you all know The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is about an old Hollywood starlet who asks a not very well-known journalist to write her memoir and then it essentially is like a memoir of this fictional woman's life. I've heard nothing but great things about it and I'm super excited to read it. However, if this does not come in in time, the last book that I plan to start in July is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. But I don't think that I'll be able to finish the whole thing before the end of July. And so I'm thinking that there may be like 200 or so pages I have left of this to finish that will fill in for the challenge to read a green book if The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo does not come in at my library. Challenge number five I'm kind of salty about and that is to read a book while wearing a hat the entire time. As you may be able to tell, I'm sweating now and I'm not wearing a hat and all of the hats that I have are winter hats essentially just to keep my head warm because I have a very large round head and hats don't really fit but <laughs> for the spirit of this challenge I'm going to be wearing 
mini mouse ears which are going to destroy my hairstyle for the purpose of this video and because I have a large round head they ping off all the time but I don't know if you can see them but we're gonna go with these and the book I will be reading is Rat Queens by Curtis J Weeb and Rock Upchurch essentially reading this because it's very short I can read it in an hour and then I don't have to wear these this is about and I quote a pack of booze guzzling death dealing battle maidens for hire and they get into a bit of trouble and they have to do somebody's work for them to get out of trouble heard great things about it looking for a good new graphic novel series to get into so i'm hoping this one's the one the next challenge is to read a book with a beautiful spine and that will be batman nightwalker by marie lou i've never read a book by marie lou but the spine is beautiful this is the what's done special edition this is the second book in the dc icon series they are a collection of standalones based around superheroes i picked this one because it's the shortest one i do have the wonder woman one but i haven't read that yet but <laughs> it's nice and short so perfect for a readathon no idea what to expect i'm not the biggest superhero fan never read a book by marie lou I'm willing to give this a go. And then the last challenge is just to read seven books. And so my final book will be The Giver by Lewis Lowry. It is Lewis, isn't it? And this is a utopian middle grade book about a world where everybody sort of lives in ignorance and they let somebody called the giver keep all of their knowledge so the giver knows everything there is to know about everything but keeps it from the people so that they can be happy and the main character of this book becomes a receiver who will be the person to take over from the giver i don't really know what the core plot of the book is but i have heard it's very good and i'm excited to give it a go so that's everything for my booktubeathon tbr please let me know if you are participating and if you are reading any of the books that i am please also don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to if you head to my description box below you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish body butter and candle website and a 10 percent off discount code for that as well but that's it from me today bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you're go when nobody knows with guns in under our petticoats we're never gonna quit it no we're never gonna quit it no